hello everyone so today we are going to install the operating system solaris 11.4 on the virtual machine so let us create a new machine put in the name solaris i'll just change the machine folder to another drive let's go for e drive here is a folder I have created. Let's select this folder. Let me just check again. Okay, here is Solaris. Select folder. Now I'll allocate 2 GB of RAM that is 2048 MBs. And I will create a virtual hard disk now. Let's click on create. Hmm. Let's give it 10 GB of memory. It should be dynamically allocated. Virtual hard disk, virtual box hard disk. Let's let's do some more settings. Uh, yeah, I will add the image to the controller. That is, just click. Oh, I clicked at the wrong place. I guess. Um, okay so we'll click on empty and on this icon choose a disk we'll click on the disk we have installed the iso file click ok uh, there is one more setting we have to do that is in systems processor we'll allocate the system to processors all right let's check everything else let's stick on this network mark everything else is all right acceleration okay all right let's go to go through everything once more okay so now we are good to go let me just check my screen recording okay everything is working perfectly okay Oh no, I just minimized them once again. Let me, let's click on start. And now here, let's just cancel this. Here starts the machine. And now it will boot up. Yes. Okay, the loading has started. Let's click on 27 to use the language English. That is the default, by the way. Here we can click 3 to use the QWERTY keyboard. That is, the, that is also the default. Okay, though we have to press 1, but uh, this does it by default so the installation will start uh, soon okay so this is the screen we'll press f2 to move forward local disk yes we'll use the sata drive so we'll press f2 and continue F2, F2, let's give the computer a name uh, which, up, which satisfies the above conditions. So let's go with Rathsakare 14.com. Enter. Yeah, F2, DHCP F2, Asia, India. Yep, that's my time zone, English. United States now let's set the time okay F2 now let's put a password 
confirm the same password now we'll have to create a account let's, let me put my name uh, username I'll just put Raj the password and confirm the password okay let's press F2 to continue uh, F2 again F2 to install okay so the installation has started Okay, so we have to reboot the computer now as the installation is complete we we'll press F8 to reboot and the reboot has started okay we are in let me put in my username which is Raj my username Raj my password I'll be entering right now passwords are not visible enter so I have as you can see I have logged in logged in as the user Raj Raj at Raj Sagre 14 ls uh, now you can see the directories now uh, Raj is my present working directory I could use a command like make directory named a folder and that directory would be created so we have successfully installed the Solaris operating system like, share, like, share.